In this video, I want to show you how to install the SP feature slider for K2. This is a module you can get there from JoomShaper.com. And the best things about this is it's absolutely free. So you can go ahead and download it. So once you've downloaded it, the next thing you need to do is to install the K2 component. And I've done so. But if you need to know how to do that, you go to extension. And this is utilizing the Joomla 3.3. So you go down here and you should see K2 and you just click to install it. So once you've installed that, you want to go back here and you want to look at your items and you want to cho choose the items that you want to be able to display here. And remember that this is features only. So this is going to show just a featured item. So you want to uh, choose the items that you want to feature. And there are one of two ways that you can do that. You can click on the item here where it says featured and you click yes. I'm going to show you the other one in a second. And you want to make sure that you have an image that you've added as well because that module is going to need to pull from this image here. So once you've done that, you just close. Another way that you can feature items instead of having to click on each one individually, where you see this little check mark here, uh, it says feature, you just click on it. So this is what it looks like. If you have this here, if this is not, they're not featured, then it's going to um, give some type error in the front end. So what you want to do is you definitely want to make sure that these are featured and you can just click on these to access and it's going to give you that check mark. And then you can go to extensions, you go to module manager. And once you've installed, you want to go to select type. You want to scroll down here, find the, add the SP feature slider, and you want to click on it. So once you're here, you have several options here. Let's take a look at the category filter. You have options here to choose from all categories, or do you want to choose from a specific category? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose from a specific category. When you click on the select some options here, all the categories are going to be listed here, but since I have just one, I'm just going to choose this one here. But of course, you can add multiple categories. And then you have the option of selecting the number of slides. Do you want it to be two, three, four? I have just three, so I'm going to put just three there. And you have the option here to choose, uh, do you want to hide or show the intro text? I'm just going to leave that as show. And I'm also going to demonstrate for you to see what it looks like without the intro text on there. And you can choose the number of word limit here. So I put 25, we can change that. And you choose the size. You choose, do you want to show the category, the read more? And also, do you want to show the features badge here? So let's just go ahead and click show for now. And one cool thing too is you can choose the color that the background for the features uh, badge shows. And we're going to take a look at that in just a second. And then you can choose the position that you want this particular item to be on. So since I'm using the Helix uh, default template, I'm just going to use the feature. And then you can choose the page that you want it to be on. I'm just going to use one of the demo pages that I created here. All right, so let's click save and take a look at it and see what it looks like on the front end. Okay, so this is what you have. You have a beautiful slide here. You know, the slide is really awesome. So you can, you know, people can just click to go to the next one. And then you all set the very top here. They can click on these here. And you have different app options too for the animation for these. So let's take a look here. When you go to animations, do you want it to be autoplay? So when you set it to autoplay, these are going to automatically just slide after one after the next. But if you don't want that to happen, you can just click on no and you can choose the slide speed. But in order for you to choose the slide spin the intervals, this has to be set to yes. So when you set this to no, these two won't work. And then for the transition, you have the fade, default, backslide, go down, fade up. So let's take a look at the fade. And do you want to show the navigation? This is the navigation here. So we're just going to lift that at yes. Let's click save. Now when you're in the front end, you take a look at this, you know, you can just click. It's not automated anymore. But in order for you to see the animation, you have to set this to auto. And you can be able to take it out. You have to fade. You have to backslide. So here it is. Now, one other thing that I want to show you how to do is you can put these in different positions. Since this is a module, uh, you can put in different positions. So let's take it over, put it on, on the right side. And let's check it out. All right. So now it's not on the top here anymore. We have it on this right side here. And you can choose to customize these how you want it to be. Uh, let, let's just uh, take this title off. So you want to hide the title and let's come here and let's hide the read more, have the category and you can just play with these. 
And let's change the color of the feature. Just put that to blue. And let's change the text special item. So you can actually change the text from the same feature to whatever you want it to say. And then you come to the animation. Do you want to show the navigation? Let's uh, hide it. Okay, let's take a look at it, see what we've got now. So this is what it looks like now. You know, it's just a nice slideshow. So there are times when you want to utilize this, and if you don't necessarily want people to click on it, and you just want to, you know, just to showcase some stuff, then it's just going to slide over like that. All right, so here I have it again, and you know, the picture sizes that I have here are just different sizes, so they're not uniform. I just uploaded just different ones, just to give an idea. And also you have the options here if you don't want to show any intro text. So let's just go to hide. So when you look at it now, you don't see that intro text there anymore. So this is really great for you to style your contents, you know, a little bit different. It gives your website a lot of flavor and, you know, adds a little bit more life to it. So give it a try on your website and, you know, see how it works out for you.